Hi everyone, I'm Michael from Conga Technical Support, and today we'll be talking about the Contracts for Salesforce Clause Library. The Clause Library contains all your clause elements, such as clauses, clause types, clause categories, clause bundles, and more. Today we'll look at some of the basics. We'll start by navigating to the Clause Library tab in Conga CLM. Before we can create a clause, we need to create our clause types. Click on clause types and then new type. Today we'll create the administration type for our purposes. Click save and your clause type has been created. Clause categories are another way to group clauses together in the clause library and they're just as easy to create. Click clause categories and then select new category. Type in your value and click save. Now that we've created our clause types and clause categories, we can create our clauses. Click clauses and then select new clause. On the next screen, enter the name of the clause and we'll select a value for a clause type, select the clause category. On this screen, you also have the option to restrict a clause to being an alternate and not selectable as an initial clause. You also have the option to require approval when a clause is changed during the negotiation process. We'll leave both options unchecked for this demonstration. Next, enter the clause of the text as you want, want it to appear on your final do contract document. You can add any guidance or keywords and then click save and your clause has been created. Once you've created a clause, you can configure whether it has alternate or sub clauses or possibly different configurations, depending on your use case needs. Finally, you can use clause bundles to define groups of terms and conditions that are commonly added to the same type of contract. For example, here we have a clause bundle for our MSA that contains clauses we normally add to our MSAs together. This can be helpful for contracts that typically have many clauses included. Let's go over to a contract agreement. And we're going to add a clause bundle. Click select clause bundle. Choose your bundle and click save. After a moment, we'll see that our managed clauses have been added to the record. Managed clauses are copies of the clauses in your library that are directly related to the contract agreement and hold any changes made to that specific contract. You can also choose to automatically add clauses to your contract agreement using automation tools such as Orchestrate. Here we can take a look at our managed clauses and see that they've been added. Today we've talked about clause types, clauses, clause categories, and bundles, along with substitute, alternate, and managed clauses. And with that, our overview of the clause library is complete. Thanks for watching and be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons for more revenue lifecycle management tools, tips, and tricks.